there long after I brought, I'm sure. <laughs> now, the title of the book is called City of Dreams. And after I was named Poet Laureate six years ago, a little over six years ago, I started thinking about the city. I grew up there, was born there, and it really is a city of dreams. You see it from being born there and growing up. So this thought I'm going to write a poem about that. A pale purple twilight splashed with sky feathers, flowing in wisps and loosened tethers on a charcoal tapestry hanging above, a chandelier of stars sprinkling love, peeking through the misty moonlight. This is New Westminster tonight. White specks glowing amidst the amber shine, sparkling diamonds on the evening skyline, the jeweled fingers of night, prancing, romancing, reflecting, cooling, shadow dancing, with the shimmering Fraser River moonlight. This is New Westminster tonight. Inherent mood music written and pinned on this royal city evening wind, unwinding, unspooling its magical weave. Dreams falling soft from an angel's sleeve in the hush of a wish long forgotten now, reminiscent of a smooth satin feeling, the residue of a sacrosanct vow, resembling enchantment that sets the heart reeling in the ambient glow of soft candlelight. This is New Westminster tonight. A touch of glory, magic in the air, a drifting of memories everywhere. A footprint on lace water, a ripple on the earth, a whisper on the wind, a diamond of great worth, indestructible, dressed in a necklace of pearl moonlight. This is New Westminster tonight. This is the city of dreams. <laughs>